Hello, this is Claudio Ortitayo for Tunnel 50. Today we're here in Broadway Pier, downtown San Diego, where every year the Latin Food Festival takes place. This is a perfect day to have fun and enjoy the food, the beverage, and the live music with your family and friends. Let's discover what else can you do and how people have fun. My name is Richie Matthews. I'm the director of the Latin Food Fest. The Latin Food Fest, this is our third year here in San Diego. We celebrate Latin food, wine, and spirits, and the culinary personalities behind uh, the, the food scene here in San Diego and, and the border region. What we do here at the Latin Food Fest is we like to match a lot of the cuisine from those regions to the wine and the spirits. And we think it's a, it's a great place to do it all at once so people get to taste those foods and then maybe uh, frequent those businesses. We have everything from Venezuela and arepas. We've done a pulpo from Nicaragua, believe it or not. We've had great barbacoa and tacos, but we also have some other interesting things. We also have great spirits. Cachaça from Brazil, Pisco from Peru, Mezcal, te tequila, and those, and, and wines and beers. So we have all kinds of amazing food. We have amazing uh, activities from Todo Mundo or Geo Trio, two amazing bands. They play Latin-inspired world music. We have a culinary demonstrations from six amazing chefs. For instance, yesterday we had the Best of Fest competition and Jose Busset won Best of Fest chef. We've also had um, an octopus challenge. We have other events throughout the festival. So people come and they, they have not only a good time in eating, they learn how to cook some really amazing dishes. They find out where to source those ingredients, like through our partners, Northgate Markets, and they just have a great, a good, uh, wholesome time. So in August, we have another four-day food festival, a grand tasting, a fiesta, a dinner, and we have a party. And it'll be down here in San Diego, and we plan on having it on the Embarcadero in August. This year, we partnered with the YMCA Child Care Resources Services, and we, they're an amazing partner. They were really instrumental in helping us with our kids' kitchen. So we had 15 or so kids. They came, and they learned how to do guacamole and learned how to, to do it um, healthy. And they, it's just a fun activity for the parents to have their kids run around and, and do things. They got their hands dirty. They learned a, a few things with a celebrity chef, Anna Saldana, from Canal 22, who visited. And so it was a lot of fun. And so they're an instrumental partner. They're very important in San Diego County helping families. Hi, my name is Erica Ramirez Lee, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Family Engagement at the YMCA Child Care Resource Service. The YMCA Child Care Resource Service is a social service department of the YMCA of San Diego County and we work with families all across the county. Child Care Resource Service is the official nonprofit partner of Latin Food Fest and Richie Matthews reached out to us because he knows our reputation and all the work that we do for the community and we are the beneficiaries of the proceeds from not only the silent auction but a portion of the ticket sales at this event. This is our first year participating with Latin Food Fest and we're really excited that this year we got to participate in the Kids Cook in the Kitchen. So we had our YMCA families along with some other families participating in kind of like a junior chef contest uh, with the celebrity chefs. I was helping out Chef Mario Medina. He's the chef over at Bernini's Bistro in La Jolla. And we were basically serving tostadas all weekend. We had three several, three different types, sorry, of tostadas. We had some octopus uh, braised with um, chile morita and pineapple. We also did a, another tostada with beef cheek. That was braised with chile pasilla. And we also had another tostada. It was a beef short rib tostada. I heard that many of the other chefs had really good uh, ideas as well so it was pretty cool to walk around and meet them and see what they were thinking about in terms of you know what they wanted to present to the public. I wish that more students like me um, from San Diego would go down immerse themselves in the culture down there because it could you know basically close the gap between both cultures uh, since we do live on a border area and uh, that's sort of the stuff that I'm trying to help out with so I'm really happy with my decision. I'd like to thank KSDY Channel 50 They've been a very big partner in helping us this year. Well, that was Latin Food Festival. We have a lot of food, we have a lot of fun. So stay tuned for the next year edition and be ready for more local events. Claudio Artitayo for Channel 50.